Greetings. Sorry to bother you, uh... I've been looking for you, as a matter of fact. I'm very sorry, but it looks like you matched the face on this here poster. So we can do this the easy way, the hard way. Or hell, I can just shoot you right now. So you come in quiet, go to jail, I get my collection, or you make me a bounty killer. I get a reward either way. I don't care what you did, or what you say you didn't do. All I know is I need the money. Your face on this poster means I get some of that. So, what's it gonna be? Listen. I ain't much for shooting folks. It's not exactly my best favorite thing to do. I mean, I prefer to have a nice chit-chat. Maybe even go to church. But you... You really want to think that, that you got some kind of way out of this? I don't need you pleading with me. I don't need you giving me any of this. Just get on the horse, take you into town. I'll collect my few dollars, pesos, whatever the hell they're offering. And after that, you'll never see me again. And I'll never see you again, God willing. <laughs> you really trying to justify your actions? I really don't give a shit. You don't understand, do you? Get on the fucking horse. I'm not gonna ask twice. Next time I'm gonna shoot. I'll aim low. That's what I thought. Easy. Easy. Not too quick now. Don't want you pulling any tricks on me, you understand? Been doing this a long time. And I don't take kindly to people trying to play one over on me. Good. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I absolutely would have shot you. You kidding me? If it's your life or mine, buddy, it's going to be your life, not mine. I guarantee you every time. Now, settle in. Oh, no, don't think it's going to be that easy. You'd rather I tie you up, drag you behind... I can still do that. And watch your mouth. Watch your manners. You understand? Good. Sheesh. Well, it's a long trip into town, so I guess you might as well tell me what you were starting to tell me. What happened, exactly? How do you accidentally rob a bank? <laughs> right, sure. And you didn't think maybe I should just give the money back? You just walked out with it. And what did you think was going to happen? How do you think that really looks? <laughs> Please. No wonder you're going to jail. It wasn't no small amount of money, either. That's a strange thing. You telling me you don't know how to count? Not that I'm judging. I understand. Not everyone's educated. I get that. Huh. Well, you do. Hard to say that it was an honest mistake. Again, that's a lot of money. 
Well. I'm not one to judge. I've done plenty for money myself. Hell, doing this right now. Not exactly the most savory thing in the world. So I get you. Ah, I've been doing this at least five years now. No, seven. It started in California. Well, started in Texas, but that one was more an accident than anything else. I've been all over. Fur to stay in Texas, really. Wider spaces. Better food. <laughs> but here I am with you. Because I need the money. You don't, you don't get a lot of people this far out. What were you doing out here in the middle of nowhere? I don't see no one with you. No family, no friends. Did, did like someone pass recently? Hmm. How do you manage all this by yourself? I ain't gonna lie, that does take talent. A lot of time and a lot of effort. You must be awful handy around here. Shame you're not gonna be able to come back and tend to it. At least for a while. Assuming that they give you a lighter sentence. Gonna be real hard to uh, get them to agree that, hey, it was an accident. Like I said, you had ample opportunity to turn that money. Regardless. So how do you do it then? Take care of all of it with no other hands. Just you. Shit. Seems like a lot of work, but comfortable life. Don't gotta answer to no one but yourself. You no, know, it'd be a shame if this place were to fall into disrepair in your absence. I'm not suggesting I take your land or nothing, but I could tend to it for you, if any you'd like. Nah, that's fair. That's fair. You don't know me. I'm a random gunslinger coming around, threatening you, taking you in. Bounty Hunter, what do I know, right? That's fair. But, if I'm being honest with you, I'm not much for killing. Not much for this life. It's necessary to some degree, I'm sure, but... Quiet life of a farmer has always had its own appeal. Just never had enough to be able to afford my own place. Bounton hunting barely makes ends meet most of the time. Hell, I once turned a feller in just for five dollars. Wasn't much. Just a guy killed a chicken, believe it or not. Some wasn't his chicken, someone else's chicken, but still. Five dollars is five dollars, I suppose. We spent like two days in jail. I don't even know why they bothered. They probably spent more money on them wanted posters than they did on him. But some people are just petty that way. You know how it is. Especially people in power. Shit, I'm sorry. I don't mean to jaw your fucking ear off. I just... You're the first person in a long time I've taken in warm. Yeah, most people try to run. Most people try to fight. Not very many people just accept it, 
you know? Hell, I'm half expecting you to try and jump off this horse and run off at some point, but now that we've got to talking, I'd really hate to have to shoot you in the back. Seems like a cowardly thing to do. If we were gonna fight, I'd prefer to shoot you in the front. But, like I said, money is money. And I really don't get much of a choice on how I get it. But about that farm, if and you do need someone to look after it, I'd be more than willing. Hmm, I suppose you do need to at least know my name. You know what, that, that's fair. That's very rude of me. I hadn't introduced myself. Name's Roland Reeves. Nice to meet you. I'd say it's probably a pleasure to meet you, but... Given the circumstances, I know I probably look more a uh, fool to you than anything else. And I understand that, and I apologize for any tomfoolery here. You seem a decent sort, if I'm being honest. I've met plenty of killers in my life. Plenty of people who needed to be put down. You know them types. You'll read about them sometimes in the paper, or... Sometimes even been in them fiction books. Well, you don't believe I can read? Just because I go around killing people? Yeah, I can read. Got to. You never know when one of them big wig bastards is trying to fuck you out of a contract. So you have to learn to read. I may not be able to read all them books... Some of them are too complicated for me. But, still, I like to do it when I'm out. Long stretches of road by yourself. Well, I get to reading sometimes. Keeps them inner thoughts away, you know. Rather think about some kind of fancy doodad or something else get my imagination flown or even the good book itself though reading the bible ain't exactly conducive to being a bounty killer <laughs> well now i've had a hard long look at my life and I wouldn't mind doing different things. Like I said, that farm sounds nice. Hell. If you need an extra hand, hell. You give me a free supper, I'll work for free on your farm. And, add an extra, I'm great with a gun, so I could protect the property. Not to say that you couldn't. Hell, you agree to that? I'll turn this horse around right now. I wouldn't turn you in. Like I said, you seem like a decent folk. And I could always turn you in afterwards. If and I thought you were uh, disagreeable. <laughs> Not that that's likely to happen. Now, I won't lie. You got a... Well, you got a sort of handsome sort of appeal to you, if I'm being honest with you. Don't see a lot of faces on the wanna posters that look uh, appealing most of the time. You, you know what I mean. I'm just saying, under different circumstances, I wouldn't mind setting... Some kind of, I don't know, sit down or, I guess what I'm saying is I'd like to have a meal with you. Well, 
I'm glad you found that idea, that notion to be agreeable. You know, likely the case, I ain't the only person after you. There'd be a lot of people who look at that price tag and think, you know what? 300 bucks isn't bad. 300 bucks can get you a lot. But I think what you got there, that, that farm, that place of yours, I think that's a hell of a lot more than $300, if I'm being honest. And from the sounds of it, you came by it honestly. What it being your family's farm and they passed away and all. Well, I'm sure we could come to an agreement. Tell you what. Got a long ways ahead of us. Well, I mean, you came all the way out here. Tell you what. If you can convince me not to turn you in. We'll turn around. And if you can convince me to stay and not turn you in, I'll stay and not turn you in. Promise I won't shoot you either. All right, then. All right. That seems reasonable to me. Ten hell. You try anything funny? Anything that might put me in danger? Just know you're going to be eating lead. Well, much obliged to you. I think that's an accord. Yeah. I think that's an accord. Hello everyone, it's me, Mazarus, the right hand of doom, stroke of midnight, however you want to talk to me. <laughs> I want to thank you all so very much for your support. I've been kind of a, in a slump recently. Uh, there's been a lot of just financial things going on. Nothing too concerning for you guys, but I just want to take a moment to say I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your support. Um, this one was just something I just wanted to do. It's a little goofy thing. I realized I've not done a cowboy audio or a gunslinger audio. And I've been kind of in a western mood. So I figured I'd do something a little different. Now, it doesn't necessarily fit the motif of monster stuff yet. But who knows? That could easily change. If you like Roland, and you want to see more of him, let me know. Like I said, I have all kinds of characters locked up in this brain of mine, and who knows how many audios I can come up without scripts. But in the meantime, let me know what you guys think. As for my patrons, I want to thank you guys so very much, and for your patience. Um, for those of you who don't know my patrons, there is a Discord group, and it has some of the most phenomenal people, very supportive. I really enjoy engaging with this group of people, and I enjoy engaging with you guys at home who get to listen to this audio. So, thanks for giving me the opportunity and for your patience with dealing with the audios and the sometimes the slumps that I have. That being said, um, Giving a shout out to Angel V Kiss AS, Aurelie Orgasmic, Kate R, Cry Wolf 883, Cullum Brown, Dancer Woman 22, Danny Capricorn, Dr. True, 
Francois Canal, Frosty Love, HVNS, Hypnos, Jamie Lay Neal, Jesse Sky, Jessica Adams, Keana Kokoro, Lady Luthien, Lissa, Mac, Max Doodles, Knocked Music, Nikki Tupin's Inky Horror, No No, Patchwork Cyborg, Pinomatic, Random Jumble, Rockstar Pancake Hat, Susie, Tierra, Tiggy, Tori David, Trinite, Void, Wanderer Rowan, and Zero Key Wolf. You guys are phenomenal. Again, I can't give you enough praises. For those of you who are enjoying my audios and are unable to subscribe to my Patreon or support me here, you can still support me by like, favoriting, sharing, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any of my audios. Thanks again, everyone. Sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares. Hey everyone, post credits here. Uh, just want to say there's a new design for The Stroke of Midnight. It is on the spread shirt now. Uh, you should see that the Sweet Dreams and Pleasant Nightmares. It will be on stickers and t-shirt designs. It was made by my lovely wife. Say hello, wife. Hello. Uh, and uh, she put a lot of work and effort into it. So if you guys don't buy it, she will cry. Isn't that right? Please buy my, my design. I worked so hard on it. I don't want to starve. Please, please buy my design. You don't want my wife to starve now, do you? I worked so hard on it. Now hit him with the oo woo. I've been cursed by this, now you have. And if you want to break that curse, you gotta buy the shirt, you gotta buy the sticker, you gotta do both. Or buy the stock of the monies. Or else you too will be cursed by this until the end of time. <laughs> She'll stop if you pay us. <laughs> buy my silence. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and as always, sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>